I'm Richard Randall, and welcome back to The Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker. This is the weekly radio show that informs and educates you on how to buy or sell real estate, and it does it with Barb Schlinker, the owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Barb has the buyers. Barb has the buyers.com. In fact, Barb, we're going to talk about the top 15 tips to sell your home fast, but also for top dollar, because this is usually the biggest single asset that the average person has in their entire life. Of course, we would love to get the most amount of money for most home sellers or all home sellers. However, it, the market is the market. So the buyers actually drive it. It's what the market decides what the home will sell for, but we can help it along. We can improve how much it will sell for based on how we do the the basics of three p's preparation promotion and pricing those three things if they're done right it could mean the difference between you getting top dollar or just sitting on the market for a long time i'll give an example um i had a home seller last year that i think i told you about him it was an 80s house he did not plan on doing anything, making it pretty at all. The woodpeckers had pretty much destroyed the siding on the cedar siding. It had that mauve colored sculpted carpet. Um, basically, nothing had been updated since the 80s. And he'd lived there all that time. And he goes, you know what? I'm not going to remodel this home. I'm not doing it. I would rather just price it appropriately and let you take it from there. So he moved out first. And so we we cleaned it up. Uh, we got rid of any st stuff left behind. That's one of our services that we include a a junk removal um, for our clients just to take that task off their plate as well as cleaning. And the, the key was his selling strategy of as is meant it had a different price. It was a different pricing strategy. We could control the pictures and make the pictures look a wow with virtual staging. But at the end of the day, it was an 80s house with 80 updates, 80s updates and, you know, carpet that needed restretching. It, it needed some work. And we knew that. And he priced it appropriately. And at that home, we had our open house had, I believe, the count was 185 people come through. We ended up with 20 offers. And honestly, I thought the, the price was on the high side. But the truth is, single family homes in that neighborhood are tip pushing 600,000 at the time. We priced it under 500,000. And we ended up selling it as if it was remodeled at a price of 575,000. So there is an art and a strategy to selling a home, and it depends on your situation. You can definitely push the price envelope if you're a beautiful home, right? Um, but let's say you're just an average home. We can help your home look more above average and help you stand out against the competition. So the number one strategy is to pick a selling strategy. I just mentioned the as is strategy, but there are other strategies. Number two strategy is don't play what I call blind archery with selecting a real estate agent. In other words, what most people do, according to the National Association of Realtors, is they call the agent that sold them the house. And there's no interviewing that takes place. They don't even ask them what is their expertise, what is their strategy at getting one of their largest assets sold. That's just what they do because they knew them. And the problem is they could run into issues with that. And then they get disappointed because that agent may not have the skills or the expertise to appropriately market and price the home to get them top dollar. And when someone hires a real estate agent, there are questions that you should be asking. I mean, just think about it. If you were an employer and you were interviewing an employee, or if you were being interviewed, there are certain questions that are asked. So most home sellers don't know that they're actually interviewing agents. And there are some questions that they should ask. And so we want to help you with that. We actually have a free agent selection guide that you can download from my website, barbhasthebuyers.com. So we've done all that screening question criteria for you, and it'll give you an idea 
how to make a really good decision about who's the right fit to help you sell your home. And you can order that report free, no obligation on Barb's, barbhasthebuyers.com. Tip number three, make sure your house is spick and span clean. I know it goes without saying, okay, but it's amazing the little things that make a difference. Like you've heard me whine, Richard, about those doorbells that get broken, that little pat plastic part in the middle of the doorbell that gets broken off. It just makes a bad impression. Even in the wintertime, curb appeal is absolutely critical. Clean up, sweep up around your front door. Give those bushes, even though they're dormant, give them a haircut. Freshen up the paint on the warm days of your front door. All those little things can make a huge difference. Clean door hardware. Um, cleaning is absolutely critical, and it's one of the services that we include with our VIP seller. You also want to depersonalize a home. Now, what do we mean by that? Some people go a little overboard and absolutely take everything off the walls. That's not what we mean. Actually, empty rooms don't look quite as attractive as a room that has decorations or something, because when buyers are, are doing their initial search online, they're trying to figure out the size of the room. So if the room's empty, they can't see the scale. But you want to make sure you, you make it look like a model home. Go check out model homes online and see what they look like. They're very austere. They don't look lived in. There's nothing on the counters. Remove everything off from the kitchen and the bathroom counters. Pick up those throw rugs. Take your magnets off the refrigerator. I know they're sentimental to you, the kids, grandkids, drawings, and stuff like that. But for the pictures, you want an austere look. It's okay to have a family picture here and there. It's not okay to have a complete I love me wall with the whole family. That just distracts the buyers when they come in the house. Tip number five is make sure it's light and bright. Let the light in. Open the curtains. Open the blinds. Nobody likes a dark room. And make sure you're removing excess furniture or clutter. Now, it's hard to see this, but clutter is one of the number one things that actually date a home. And the way you resolve it is you take your phone, go out and take a picture of every single room in the house, and then blow up that picture on the screen so you can see what it looks like. It, clutter will speak right back at you. It's pretty obvious when you have clutter, when you actually look at the pictures. And also consider staging your home. So we include this as well. We give you a in-home consultation from an interior designer. This is not me coming in telling you how to stage, because to be honest with you, I don't have that creative bone in my body. It's a creative mindset that can do that. And they go room by room and give you tips on what to do, what not to do in order to get the most money for your home and how to get your house ready for picture day. Now we know that buyers eliminate homes online, but it's surprising to me when I look at all the bad pictures of homes that are marketing photos online, how many real estate agents don't even pay attention to this? Did you know, Richard, that 80% of all agents don't make it past their fifth year in the industry, would you really want somebody learning on how to sell a home on one of your largest assets? Not me. I mean, and, and I feel bad for those people who were in those five years. One of the folks who had somebody who had an agent who washed out 80% don't make it past five years. You've right. been doing this a couple of decades up and down the front range, just incidentally, Barb. Yes, and my team is trained to help you. So if you're thinking of making a move, you can go to barbhasthebuyers.com and just click on the button, find my buyer or give us a call. Our phone number's all over the website and we'll be happy to come out and give you a free in-home consultation on what to do, what not to do to get your house ready for sale. And if you're planning to move later, we've got all kinds of great free reports. The one we're talking about today is the top 15 tips to sell your home fast and for top dollar. Richard. You're listening to The Real Estate Voice. That is Barb Schlinker of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. And you can listen to replays of the show anytime on all of the major podcast platforms, plus Barb's YouTube channel as well. Barb Schlinker, S-C-H-L-I-N. 
K-E-R, one-stop shopping at barbhasthebuyers.com. And if you're thinking of making a move, 719-301-3900. Barb, we're talking about the top 15 tips to sell your home and to sell it for top dollars. So what are the rest of those tips? Well, Richard, before you actually set your asking price, make sure you bring in a professional and do your homework. I'm not talking about an appraisal. I mean, appraisals look backwards in time and they can give you an opinion of value that has some good information, but the appraiser is not buying your home. You have to look at the whole picture, not just the historical sales. What does the competition look like? What do homes in the neighborhood, how long are they selling? What about the homes that are currently sitting on the market? Why are they not selling? All those facts, we sit down and we go over that to help you make a really good decision because showing your home is not that much fun. I'll be I'll be perfectly honest with you. A lot of people have to leave the home. They don't like doing it. Um, you want to get this over with as soon as possible, and that means bringing all three of those things together: pricing, preparation, and promotion. And make sure that you're evaluating the agent's promotion strategy. We know that buyers start their search online, and most homes are eliminated based on the online. Uh, presentation. So if if a real estate agent gets that wrong, unfortunately, your house is going to sit on the market. That's why choosing an agent that knows how to promote the home uh, is somebody that you really want to talk to and not just a guess, oh, they're nice, or I liked them, or they're a friend or something. You want somebody that has an aggressive marketing plan that knows exactly how to attract all the buyers in the buyer population. Um, because if your agent can't do that, if they're just taking your home and taking some pictures, I see this all the time, Richard, when I meet with sellers, that these agents that have posted listings, sometimes really expensive listings online, it's obvious that they use their smartphone because it's a very vertical photograph. It's unbelievable that people would you know, charge all that money to sell somebody's house and they can't be bothered to make professional pictures to attract all the buyers in the buyer population. And you want to make sure you hire somebody with a team. That's tip number 11. Hire an agent that knows what to do and what not to do to get your house ready for sale. Hire an agent that knows how to help you correctly prepare to sell the home. And every home is different and every home is somewhat customized. And number 15 is hire an agent that offers certainty of the sale. Did you know, Richard, that 68% of buyers looking for a home actually need to sell a home first? They have a problem. And most real estate agents don't have a solution, but we do. We offer the guaranteed sale program. If you want to find out more about that, you can go up to barbhasthebuyers.com, click on our guarantees. There's a really cool video about it up there. I have over 27,000 buyers on my website um, looking to find a home. And if you want to match our buyers to your home, click on Find My Buyer or call us at 719-301-3900. Richard? You're listening to Barb Schlinker on the Real Estate Voice Show. That is Barb Schlinker, your home sold guaranteed realty. And Barb has the buyers, barbhasthebuyers.com. If you're thinking of selling your home up and down the front range and you want to get the most amount of money when you sell, call Barb at 719-301-3900 or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. Again, that's barbhasthebuyers.com. A short break. When we come back, we'll be talking about the top 10 trends that are dating your home. You might not know about them, but Barb Schlinker does. Stay tuned for that. 